Okay, everybody. So uh, we've seen what we can do at lunch times uh, just to get us active. Now, I bet you're thinking, what else could you do without the need of going to a gym, either on site at work or just after, or even at home? So I've got Kamal here that I want to introduce you to as an expert in this area. So hi, Kamal. Hi, Austin. How are you doing? Good, thanks. And you? Very good, thank you. So I'd like you to, to tell us, are there stuff that we can do that doesn't require weight training, going in a gym, stuff we can do in the comfort of our home or even before work that could get us into really good shape? Absolutely. There's, uh, there's numerous exercises that we can actually do uh, with other use of equipment, uh, whether it's at home, at the office or within um, a gym itself. Um, and I'm going to go through some uh, exercises uh, which uh, you can actually do yourself. Okay, well thanks for that. So basically, as I know you, I know this is resistance training, which is really good because I remember doing it when I was younger and a bit better shape. But I think it would also help, if you wouldn't mind, to show the audience exactly what shape you can get into without the need of going to a gym. Would that be okay? Absolutely. So Kamal, the first exercise you're going to do for us in routine, just to show us some movies. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, push-ups. Okay, very basic, very straightforward. We're going to use the bench. Um, and uh, it's a very simple exercise. You can do it without the bench, um, and it helps work the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. Excellent. So let's show them how to do that, and we'll pick up the next move. Okay, great. Thanks for that, Kamal. So just a, a, a basic piece of equipment or even maybe flat on the floor uh, and then raising it later with a, a bench maybe we have at home. This is good enough and, and to, to do the exercise, yeah? Absolutely, yes. If you don't have a, a bench at home, then maybe using something like a, a book just to raise the, uh, uh, the angle would help. Um, but starting with the floor is amazing. It's probably the uh, most basic um, platform to start with and then from there you can increase the, uh, uh, the angle by uh, using something like a bench. I also noticed that the form of the exercise and the, the pace you were doing it seemed to be uh, adding some resistance. You weren't doing it quickly, it wasn't slowly, it was just at a good pace to feel the strength. Is that right? Absolutely, yes. Um, tempo and pace is one of the critical factors when it comes to doing basic resistance exercises. You want to ensure that the muscles are under tension and working efficiently. Um, without this, t uh, without the pace being correct, the actual exercise would be pointless. So it's always important to do the exercise under um, under strict form and take your time and actually get the full benefit out of it before you progress on to uh, any weighted based exercises. Okay, so with the pace right and then some resistance, how many times should we do this? Like a hundred or should we just do like three sets of something? What would you advise? I would recommend starting with uh, three sets of ten repetitions, making sure you have adequate break and recovery in between just to um, let the joints ease off and also to make sure that the repetitions are done under good form. It's more important to make sure that the, that the um, repetitions are done under con uh, very strict form and get more quality rather than quantity. Okay, great. So uh, what's the next exercise you're gonna take us through? The next exercise we're going to do is a tricep dip using the bench. Okay, thanks Kamal, let's see you do that one.
Okay, Kamal, so thanks for that one as well. That looked like a really good exercise and, and probably one you could probably, I don't know, do off a sofa even. Yes, most definitely. You can do this when watching the television at home. Just uh, keep it nice and easy. It's quite a basic exercise and uh, really helps engage the uh, uh, upper back arm. Excellent. So uh, the next exercise you've got for us is? Uh, a bodyweight squat. Okay. Will, this will help work the front of the thighs and the bum. Okay, over to you, Kamal. Okay, thanks for that. So I can see that's actually quite a, a good one really. Seems to, to work out the legs and, uh, and maybe firm up the bum as well. And I, I did notice your feet were very flat on the floor. The weight looked like on your heels. Absolutely, yes. It's very important to make sure that the, uh, the weight is always on the heels. Um, when you push your bum backwards, you'll find that the weight will try and uh, go into the heel of the foot. foot. And uh, by placing the arms out in front, you're trying to counterbalance the weight. Um, this one can be done at home using a chair. Um, you don't have to go as low down, but uh, if you start with small movements and then work your way from there on, it would be really good. It also helps improve the flexibility in the hips as well, so for people who work in an office-based environment who get lack of movement in the hips, this is a great one. And they can take five minutes out in their daytime and just practice this movement in the office. Yeah, that would get us going as well, wouldn't it? Probably put a bit of uh, stimulation back into the brain, get our joints moving again. And I also noticed the form there was, again, very steady, controlled, a bit of resistance in there. Yeah, it's very, really important with the squats that you do this, um, again, under good form, and the tempo is really crucial. If you just lower yourself down too quick and the muscles don't engage, and you want to keep the muscles under constant tension and work, take your time, lower yourself, and then raise up again. Excellent. So the next exercise you've got for us would be? A plank, which is a core exercise. Okay. So I'll, uh, I'll leave it to you again to show us and uh, thank you. Okay, thanks for that, Kamal. And there I noticed uh, whilst you kept your position, actually the, the, the movement that you were doing was actually quite subtle um, and, and seemed to go up and then come back into the position. Is that correct? Absolutely, yes. What we're doing here is creating a isometric contraction, which means is you're just holding the body in a certain position and the muscles are under tension. Um, there is no movement necessary for this uh, exercise. You're holding it in a position where the muscles are engaging all the way throughout the exercise. And you can hold this for as little as 10 seconds, up to a minute or two minutes. And you can do this whilst you're in front of the television. It really helps engage the core muscle groups, it stabilizes in the shoulders, um, and it's an excellent exercise, yet very basic. Yeah. So I can imagine, actually, that that one looks quite easy, as long as I just keep myself kind of rigid for a minute, and then maybe I could rest and then do it again, a few routines of that. I should imagine maybe if I did this, what, just three times a week, for 12 weeks, I might end up with a bit of a strong core. Absolutely, yes. Um, this is uh, something that you know you only need to take up maybe two, three minutes a day. Uh, three times a week would be amazing. I mean, you'll, you'll feel the benefit and notice the changes within weeks. Yeah, I think that's what we're looking for. Stuff that we can take on board easily, that, that, that doesn't require us to, to be ultra fit in gyms. Stuff that we can comfortably do and, and we get a result out of, right? Absolutely, yes. That's the way forward. Excellent. So the next uh, exercise movement will be? Uh, a step up. Okay, I'll leave it to you, Kamal.
Okay, so that also looked a really easy thing for people to do, but what they probably, uh, the, 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 the general person might not realise there is the amount of different muscles you were working out, although it looked quite simple, uh, there was an awful lot going on there that, that, that's going to benefit us, right? The bum, the legs, the, the straightening of the back. Absolutely, this is uh, one of the key exercises that will help generate, uh, first of all, the heart rate, which is really important because um, not many of us day to day try and use the stairs as much as the elevator. So one, uh, you can do this in the comfort of your home if you have access to a few stairs. And to make it a little bit easier, you can put your hand on the handrail. So you've got the stability there. And the muscles that are engaging are one, the glutes, so the bum muscles, um, and also the front of the thigh. So overall, it's, it's a fantastic exercise, which will help with your fitness. So if you're trying to run up the stairs, get your fitness level up and also get the bum and the front of the thighs nice and firm and toned up. Okay, so Kamal, just before we move to the next exercise, um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of keen. I can see that I've been in corporate. I know I could go and hide away in the stairs there, maybe two, three minutes of this, get myself awake a bit if I've got a bit of a pain. Shall I just give it a try, see if I can do it, and you mark me? I hand over to you. I'm not very good, Mark, but I'll try again. Nice and steady. Slow it down. Knees up. That's good. Easy. Oh, careful. All right, so. so knee up and steady down. Good. It's also good to be bre breathing out on effort, Austin. So as you come up, breathe out. And as you lower yourself down, take a deep breath in. Excellent. Fantastic. Hey, come on, with a bit of practice, an old boy like me might get there. I don't know if I'm going to look like you, but I'm, I'm going to keep trying some of this stuff because, you know, I play a bit of golf and I can feel a little bit on my bum that might help me. All right, the next exercise. Next exercise, last and final one, is a bodyweight lunge. This is fantastic. It requires absolutely no equipment. It's my favourite exercise. I recommend this to absolutely everyone. Um, this works the bum, the front of the thigh and generates the heart rate as well. So overall full body workout, uh, sorry full lower body workout. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick demo. Thanks a lot. Well, thanks again, Kamal. They, they, they're really what people, I think, want to see. And, and actually to see somebody who is in shape that is recommending we can do this stuff and get fit. You know, we don't normally get to get close to people like you who keep themselves fit in the most normal, natural ways. All we be told all the time is go to the gym, go to the gym. So it's been a great pleasure to talk to you and thank you for showing the exercises. Thank you for letting me have a go. And I'm glad to have you on our team. Cheers, Kamal. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.